welcome seven-time Grammy winner Will I Am and Breakthrough Prize co-founder Dr. Priscilla Chan. It's an honor to be here today with Dr. Priscilla Chan for this next award. We're both dedicated to bringing more young people from every neighborhood, nation, and background into science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Our future depends on science, and science depends on our youth, boys and girls. Every journey in science starts with a moment of inspiration. For me, it was joining the robotics team when I was 14. All it takes is one special push. That's why we started the Breakthrough Junior Challenge, to give students around the world a chance to share what inspires them in math and science through video. We had so many great submissions, more than 6,000 from over 100 countries. Thank you to Sal Khan and the Khan Academy for helping us reach so many students. We were blown away by this year's talent. Narrowing the field was so difficult that we had to choose two winners. Two young women, in fact, from very different parts of the world. Both will receive a $250,000 scholarship, $50,000 for the teacher that inspired them, and a brand new $100,000 science lab for their school. My name is Antonella Massini. I go to Cambridge, Lima, the school in Lima, Peru. My film is about quantum entanglement. Measuring a state of one particle will tell you the state of the other one. If you happen to find the left shoe, you know that I will have the right one, and vice versa. Quantum entanglement is important because it is being used for quantum computers. That's the future. Momentum. My teacher, Mr. Vidal, he's an inspiration for me. She's this kind of dedicated student who is willing to work at something 150%. I think that people are scared of science because it is difficult, I will not say otherwise. But I think that if you put some effort into it and if you have the passion for it, you should go for it totally. My name is Deanna C. I go to school at Raffles Institution in Singapore. My film is about how bacteria gain antibiotic resistance and how we can stop that from happening. You can think of each bacteria cell as a castle. Inside is DNA and small things called plasmids, which usually carry the genes, making the bacteria antibiotic resistant. She had a good understanding of one of the biggest problems we have on the healthcare industry. Mrs. Wong manages to make us listen to her, and I think that's because she's so passionate about biology. Biology is everywhere. You know, we are living organisms, how we function. We are bio, we are alive, you know. The great thing about science is, once you give people a way to get into it, then we can just ask a series of questions and understand the world and even ourselves a little bit better. When you learn a difficult thing, it is like magic when you understand it. But I also think that you have to share it because sharing it is important to the development of the world. I am blown away by the science and creativity that these two women bring to the work and the videos they produced here. There are so many accomplished creative and brilliant people in this room, but I feel like it's safe to say these two women have the greatest potential, future potential, in their careers. For her video on quantum entanglement, that mysterious correlation between properties of particles when they come together. She could be doing anything, she chose to do this, Please make a round of applause for Antonella Masani from Lima, Peru. And for her film on the evolutionary logic behind antibiotic-resistant superbugs, 
and her astute recommendations on how we can combat bacterial resistance. She could be on Instagram thumbing through life, but she chooses to be doing this. Make some noise for Deanna C. from Singapore. I never thought that this would happen to me. I want to thank the Breakthrough Prize with all my heart for giving me and all the other students an opportunity to show the world that no one is too old to learn or too young to teach. This has been a pretty rough year for my family and me. So thank you for giving me hope again and for proving that magic is not only in Hogwarts, but all around us. It is in our curiosity, in our ideas. Magic is science and science is a future. And I promise you that I will do my best to make it a brighter one, just as all of you are already doing. So thank you. Thank you for believing in me. Five years ago, if you told me that being this crazy about biology would lead up to this moment, I wouldn't have believed you. Biology is both alive and meaningful because it explains so much that goes around and within us. I'd like to thank the Breakthrough Junior Challenge for this incredible opportunity. And the best part is, there are now so many online videos that can inspire more students to be fascinated about science. Thank you.